Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm looking at the remastered Borderlands game. And as you can see, straight out the bag here, this supports ultra wide. We're running on a 21 by 9 display. This is a 2560 by 1080 and straight away the game booted into the full screen, which is very nice. Obviously cutscenes still being 16 by 9 but the game runs very well. We are running this on an RTX 2060 along with a Ryzen 1600X and 16 gigabytes of DDR4. I've installed the game on a normal hard drive. It's not on an SSD. didn't feel it needed it, to be honest with you. And at the moment, we're running an uncapped frame rate. Obviously, no V-Sync or anything, just to see how well it runs on this particular card. Frame rates, as you can see, are in the hundreds, so we've got no problem there. Doesn't seem to use much memory. Six and a half, seven gigabytes of RAM there and the GPU is not stressed at all. These are the game's maximum settings. So this is the graphics completely maxed out. It's as good as it gets. I'm sure you'll agree the art style holds up really, really well. I mean, it's you know, pretty old game now. Let's face it, even with the remaster, this is a pretty old game. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it holds up very well. This is obviously the single player. This is the start of the game. The multiplayer is an absolute joke at the moment. I had a quick go at it and quickly came out of it. I couldn't even use it for video content. Um, it's it's just terrible networking. If you're going to buy the game, wait for a patch on the networking. It's an absolute disaster, as you will see people flying along the floor. You will walk 10 spaces forward and bounce back again. It's rubber banding. It's a disaster. Okay, so wait for a patch on that. If you want it like I did for the single player, no problem at all. Works really, really nicely. I will show you the graphics options, the settings on it. They're a bit bare bones, but, um, you know, they're functional. I mean, it's an old game, like I say, so the, it's not really too taxing at all. You could certainly run this on um, much lower hardware. You know, this will probably run really well on APUs, to be honest with you. I don't see any problem. If you've got a G2200, for example, that will probably run it really nicely. So it's good all round, you know, upgrade up to now. Let's have a quick look at those uh, settings and options and see what graphics things you can fiddle with. Like I say, very, very limited, but we'll dive into that now and have a look, see, yeah. On the main menu here, which the claptrap in the background there disappear. Um, we have, like I say, some basic options. You start game, you quick match, you match browser, etc. But here we go for your audio sound, etc. Mouse keyboard, yes, you can change everything. Yes, you can speed it up, slow it down. You can invert everything. Pretty much like the original, though, if you've ever played that, that had the same options. So not really a change there. If we go to gamepad, it does support Xbox One controller natively. I plugged in a DS4 and that also works, so that's a bonus. Steam controller is also supported as well, so all round pretty good. Uh, video, here's the main one. So I've got brightness, field of view, graphics level I'm on custom here, but you do have presets of course. You've got low, medium, high, ultra. And of course my custom one. The reason it went custom to go back to ultra, is because of the resolution. Okay, so it's full ultra. It's just the resolution that uh, I changed and obviously I took V-Sync off. So your screen options are full screen, windowed and borderless there. It did actually boot into borderless when I loaded the game. But there's no problem in switching it to full screen. No bugs or anything. Your resolution will depend on what your monitor supports. Uh, this supports 4K TVs perfectly well. Plugged it in, had no issues with it, detected it straight away and ran at 4K. Um, it was just under 60 FPS at 4K on this particular graphics card. Uh, you probably would have to drop something down to high for ultra or maybe medium. Didn't bother myself, always play these on the nice ultra wide monitors. So. That's something for you guys to fiddle with if you want, you know, if you do play on a 4K TV. Anyway, I've got some weird resers, like I say, because it's a strange size monitor. But, um, yeah, quite a lot, actually. We'll leave it at that. This monitor does overclock 75 hertz, so um, we've got that option there. Look, 74. So, pausing game focus on and off, V sync on and off. They're all pretty limited, these are. Your frame rate, I've got unlimited, but it's got this smoothed option didn't work very well for me in all honesty it felt a little bit juddery if anything you've got your 30 fps lock place fine at that 50 60 very smooth you can tell you're on 60 as opposed to 30 75 100 120 144 so you guys will be 144 
and then refresh on your monitors there, you can match that and unlimited. Anastropic filtering is 16842 and trilinear. Okay. This is simple enough. FX AA or nothing. Very bare bones. Dynamic shadows on and off. Shadow detail. There you go, that's all of them. And bullet on and off. Yeah, nothing special to look back on. Foliage quality, there is no ultra, that's the max. So you've got low and high, that's it. So we've got texture quality, low, high, medium. Yeah, we've got a medium on that one, guys. There we go. Game detail, low, medium, high. Ambient occlusion, on and off. Bloom, on and off. Depth of field, on and off. Flare outs, on and off. What else have we got? Level detail, mm, high there is the max. So if we go and do some presets just for testing purposes and I will show you how the game runs on each one really quickly like I said I'll keep the video nice and short so let's, uh, let's put it on uh, we go low yeah as low as it goes no, low thank you there we go there we go yes we want to keep these settings And here we have low in game. Um, not really noticing that much of an impact on FPS. I mean, with 206 there, I think that was. Might as well run it on ultra if you're running a high end card, but it's only using how much VRAM have we got going on here? 1.7. So you could use a 2 gigabyte card on this and be absolutely fine. No problem. This is low settings. So, yes, yes, yes. We know about this map thing. There we go. That's low. So if we change that quickly now to should we go medium, show them all, might as well. Uh, how much memory does medium use? So medium, there we go. And enable. Yes. Whenever you change it, it actually goes to normal 1080p 16b9 mode as opposed to your ultra wide mode. So we have to keep popping back in and so it goes custom all of a sudden, even though it really isn't. Yes. There we go. Back in. There's medium, which takes one point, a little bit more. It's slightly over. You're still getting sort of two gigabyte card though. 187 frames per second there. No big deal. Okay, let's try this on the next setting, which is high. It's not making much impact really, is it? It's a very easy game to run. So if we go high, I mean, there is ultra, like I say, but I had it running on ultra at the very start. That's what you saw. So we go high. And back. And then go back in to change it back up again. The FPS impact by adding the ultra wide is uh, significant, shall we say? It's an extra 700,000 pixels, roughly. So it is a lot when you go to the ultra wide. There we go. Yeah, it's high. So what we got? 105 to 130, I think I saw there. FPS shadows are definitely improved. Forty-one. Yep, yeah, runs fine. Looks fine. Um, last of all, I will go back into Ultra. In fact, I'll show you the difference between Ultra Wide and Normal Ultra. You know, 1080p Ultra. So if we go quickly, quickly. Yes. There we go. 160 frames per second. 165, etc. 2.2 gigabytes of uh, RAM, VRAM there. So you're going to need a bit bigger card than a 2 gigabyte card if you want Ultra. You're going to need a 3 gigabyte really. So 126, 122 there. Right, let's change that to more pixels. Let's go there and back. Yes. 
Oops. These things keep coming out of the way. I shot them all once. Actually, FPS seems to have gone up this time. That's really weird. Oh well, you can at least see how the game runs very, very well. Guys, I'm going to wrap that up, up here. I mean, it was literally to show you how well it runs on this spec computer, this sort of graphics card. I don't think it's some help to you. As you can see, you don't need any power to run this. It runs very, very well. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.